the demand equation is given by this function fp equals one fifth times quantity 225 minus p squared now we need to find the elasticity of demand ep part a and the formula for elasticity of demand ep is given it will be given as negative p times f prime p so derivative over the function itself fp so we need to find the derivative of this function so let me write rewrite this function so fp equals one fifth times quantity so distribute one fifth inside then you get one fifth times two two hundred twenty five use your calculator is two twenty five divided by five that's forty five minus uh, one fifth p square one fifth is same as zero point two so I'm gonna write zero point two p square okay uh, now let's take the derivative because we need that when we find the elasticity of demand so the derivative is derivative of constant 45 is 0 minus 0 0.2 times derivative of p square is 2p it's like derivative of x square so 0 0.2 times 2p that becomes 0 0.4p okay let's come back here and plug the things in now minus p is just p f prime p we found negative 0 0.4 p all over the function okay the demand equation is here we rewrote in this form so 45 minus 0 0.2 p square okay minus so do not cancel anything from top and bottom on the top this minus and this negative minus plus 0 0.4 p times p p square so 0 0.4 p square on the top all over 45 minus 0 0.2 p square okay that's the elasticity of demand in part b we are asked to find if is the demand elastic inelastic or unitary when p equals 8 so simply plug p equals 8 into this fraction so e 8 is 0 0.4 times 8 square all over 45 minus 0 0.2 8 square now use your calculator and it will be about 0 0.79 which is less than 1 so elasticity of demand at p equals 8 is less than 1 that means the demand is inelastic inelastic demand at 8 means if we increase the price a little bit the revenue increases in part it's done let's go for C the elasticity of demand at when P equals 10 so E 10 so simply plug P equals 10 here in this fraction so 0 0.4 times 10 square all over 45 minus 0 0.2 times 10 square now use your calculator and it comes out to be about 1.6 which is bigger than 1 that means the demand is elastic that means if the price is changed little bit if the price is increased little bit the revenue falls revenue decreases so here is in E and F uh, let's look at the last question if the unit price is increased slightly from 10 will the revenue increases or decreases so since the demand is elastic at 10 if we change a price if we increase a price a little bit the revenue decreases so the answer will be decreases at 8 it's inelastic so if the price is increased a little bit okay then the revenue increases That's the part now these are done so in part D for what P is the demand unitary unitary means one so we set EP equals one and solve for solve for P that is EP is found here this fraction 0 0.4 P squared 
all over 45 minus 0.2 p square that is equal to 1 now we need to solve this equation for p 1 is always 1 over 1 then to get rid of these fractions these fractions cross multiply then this times 1 is 0 0.4 p square is equal to this side so 45 minus 0 0.2 p square okay now we want to solve this equation for p here is p square here is p square so add 0 0.2 p square both sides this cancel then 0 0.2 plus 0. Point 0 0.4 0 0.2 so 0 0.6 p square is equal to 45 now let's divide by 0 0.6 or p square is equal to 45 over 0 0.6 uh, use your calculator it comes out to be 75 okay so p square is 75 then p equals square root of 75 okay that is P equals about 8.66 okay that's the price for when the demand is unitary and we already answered ENF finally